All right, guys, story time with Uncle Dave. I'm going to be talking about something that is very personal to me, very important to me, and had a direct impact, a major impact, on my professional journey. That was my decision to self-publish. Let's go. So it was the fall of 2016 and I was in a pretty bad spot. I was downsized from my job, not a lot of money was coming in, and a lot of upheaval was headed my way. It was at that time I decided to go for it and work on Kwame Hightower and The Man With No Name. It was an ambitious project to be sure. I was going to draw out a 160 page graphic novel and somehow publish it myself. I wasn't sure if I could, I wasn't even sure if I should, but I decided to cross that bridge as I got there. Fast forward to the summer of 2017 and I'm halfway through Kwame Hightower and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I knew it was time to get serious about how I was going to go get this work published. I certainly had options as far as pitching the book to publishers and it was definitely considered, but but there was a part of me that didn't want to publish through anyone else. Was it because the publishers were horrible people and they wanted to take all my money and control my IP? Nah, wasn't that at all. I had one main apprehension and that was Diamond Distribution. Diamond is pretty much the only game in town when it comes to comics distribution. And because I worked for a comic book company, I had a good idea of how they treated small creators. It wasn't good. I knew that if I wanted my project to be treated the way I wanted it to be treated, then I had to find alternative options, and that's when I learned of Print On Demand. Print On Demand is an independent publisher's dream. Well, that's my opinion, of course. Uh, it may not be for everybody, but it definitely was for me. And let me tell you why. I don't have to pull up a ton of money up front. I don't have to warehouse a gang of books. I can order books in small numbers. It was perfect for me. As I did my research, I even saw that the payouts were way more lucrative. Now let's be honest though, there are drawbacks and they need to be considered. Color interiors after a certain page count, cost prohibitive, just period, point blank. It, 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 it's too expensive. That's something you gotta consider. If I was going to put my book out, it would have to be in black and white. That was a hard pill to swallow. Until I started looking around at the industry and I looked at mangas, and most mangas are printed in black and white, and they're doing great. I also had to consider that I was going to be limited to one main outlet, which would be Amazon. Mind you, Amazon does have a feature where retailers can order from them, but I knew for a fact, most retailers, most comic book shops, a lot of bookstores, they're not always looking at Amazon as the distribution option. They are slowly, but that's not really a thing right now. So that was something to consider as well. But I had to talk with a few people, including my man Devin Funches over at Lion Forge, and he explained to me about the world of consignment and how it worked. Once I really looked into it and saw how things work, and then I also saw how if you really build relationships, you can get people to order your books from wherever, I was pretty much on the path to where I was going to self-publish. The thing with self-publishing that you have to understand is if you self-publish, it's all on you. You gotta make the calls, you gotta create the promos, you gotta travel to city to city to sell the books. It's all on you, and that is a lot of work. For a lot of people, that's something they don't wanna do. But for me, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the whole process. So it was more of a perfect fit, you know, just a, a nice, Nice glove, it fit me perfect. At the end of the day, I just knew that it would work better for me. So, summer of 2017, I decided to self-publish. Now, self-publishing is not for everyone. I just wanna make that clear. It is not for everyone. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of responsibility, and I'm nowhere near perfect. I am <laughs> I'm pretty mediocre at this point, in my opinion. But I'm getting better, and I wouldn't have it any other way. All right guys, so that's my story. That's why I chose to self-publish. I haven't looked back. It's tough work, it's not always fun, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Now, if you guys found this video informative and you like what you see, uh, go ahead and uh, share the video and give it the big thumbs up. Share it all over the internet, big thumbs up. Now, if you guys are new here, I'd like to say, what's up, number one, and uh, please consider subscribing and joining the family and help growing the channel even more. Now you guys can always get a hold of me on 
Twitter and Instagram at DKG72. I have a TikTok and a Facebook fan page. That's David Gordon 72 And if you really like what you see on the channel, um, hit the link to my Patreon. It's in the description below. And go choose a tier and help support the channel. All right, guys. Just want to do a quick story time with you. Kind of change it up a little bit. Talk about some personal stuff. That was really my story. A lot of decision making. A lot going on. Um, but it's what helped get me to this point, And I couldn't be happier. So uh, on that note, I'll holla at y'all next video. I know I missed Monday. I won't miss another. Uh, well, hopefully I won't miss another Monday, but had a lot of work <laughs> this weekend. So we will be back Monday with a new video. I'll holla at y'all later. Peace.